Hey, what's up? It's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. I know the title of today's video is kind of funny. Uh, it's how to create your soccer academy like the military. And I know if I look back at my life, when I started my training program, I was the nicest pushover. Like parents could come whenever they wanted. Kids could not be committed. They could show up late. They could show up in their flip-flops. They could take 20 minutes to put on their cleats. And the reason why I was like at the beginning is because I always thought that I wanted everybody to like me. And if I figured they didn't like me, then they wouldn't train with me. And so the reason why I failed doing that is because no one took me serious. People could show up whenever they want. They could pay whenever they want. Um, they could choose not to pay if they wanted. Uh, I would be wasting so much time at the field training players who would be there late. Um, and everything became completely disorganized. And I remember very clearly, I went to a conference out in California, this is like in 2011, and the speaker there, he was talking about how to run your business like an actual business and why you need to set the rules with parents before they ever step in your program. And when I heard that, I remember telling myself, I was like, well, if I do that, then no one's going to want to train with me. And that's, that's how my mindset was. I was thinking the wrong way about it. I was thinking that if I was too strict, kids wouldn't like me parents wouldn't want, they wouldn't be attracted to my program uh, and I would never get anyone. And that's, that's just how I thought because I was too nice, I was too lenient um, and everybody took advantage of me. So I knew I had to figure out something different that was going to work for me. So when I heard that at that conference, it made me realize like I need to look at myself in the mirror right now and figure out what, are, what am I doing wrong? Like why, why are there no rules right now? Why, why are people showing up whenever they want? Why are they paying whenever they want? And I would look at the end of every month, like even if I had like 10 clients, let's say they're paying $300 a month, I wouldn't be getting $300 a month. I'd be getting, or $3,000 a month. I'd probably be getting half of that or maybe a little bit more. And that's because I didn't have any systems in place. I didn't, I didn't have any rules that were in place for any of the parents to follow or any of the kids to follow. And so when I was at that conference, I had like kind of a light go off and, and I realized like, all right, Ben, if I, if you're going to do this and you're going to do this like, well, and you're going to create and establish like the premier training program in your city, you have to have it set up to where it is strict. It is something that is not for everybody. And that little mindset shift that I took completely changed my outlook in the future. And this is why now, if you ever came to one of my sessions, every player, Every single player is going to show up 10 to 15 minutes early, right? So no one's showing up 15 minutes late or 10 minutes late or even right on time. Everyone's showing up early. I have every player, they knock out their warm up. Like they're all ready, ready to go. Even if I'm training someone else, they're, they're ready to go right when our time starts. This way, our sessions are efficient. And one thing I absolutely hate about club soccer or high school soccer or what other trainers do in general is like they're going to spend the first 10 to 15 minutes doing a warm up. Like if you have an hour session, like that means you're you're wasting, you know, 15 minutes. So you only have like 45 minutes of real time to train. Like for me, I'd rather have players do their own warm up, right? I give them a set warm up to do. They do that, they're ready to go right when we start. So for the entire 60 minutes, we are training. Like we're not taking a ton of breaks. We're not taking the time to do a warm up. And this this keeps our whole session efficient, right? So kids show up early, right? They have their cleats on, they have their shin guards on, they're ready to go. Like every kid that I train is writing down their goals on a monthly or quarterly basis with me. I know exactly what they want to achieve. And this is the thing, it puts a lot of accountability into the players and the family's hands. Like they have to know before they even step into my program that yes, you have to be accountable. Like if someone misses a session and they don't notify me 40 hours before a session, like they've already been billed for that session, right? I'm not gonna be waiting out the fields, wondering and hoping that they ever show up. Like if someone does show up late um, by accident, like they're gonna miss out on the time that, that they miss. So a good example, if someone shows up 15 minutes late to one of my sessions, they're only gonna train for 45 minutes. And that's not gonna matter if it's my last session of the day uh, or the first session of the day. Like I treat everybody the same and I set the rules in a way that eliminate I would say tire kickers, like people who want to come just whenever they want. And when that happens, no one sees results. Like that's going to really, I guess, deteriorate 
what I'm trying to do with the player, like my level of fun training someone who doesn't want to be there is going to drop a lot. Like my level of fun as a trainer, like the whole reason why I've started training is because I want to have fun, right? And I want to train players who want to be there. And so setting rules and having things set up where there's a lot of structure, it's going to weed out any parents, any players who don't deserve to be in your program. And I'm so firm about that. Like when I talk to coaches who tell me horror stories about players not showing up, parents not paying, um, kids showing up 45 minutes late for an hour session and then they still give them the session. Like I was doing the exact same thing. So I already know how that is. And when I made that radical shift, my life became so, I mean, my life and business became so much like less stressed out because I could go into every session with confidence knowing that, all right, this, this parent is paying monthly. This player is super committed. They want to be here. They want to be at my session. They show up 15 minutes early. They leave right on time. Like parents show up when they need to, right? Parents pay when they need to. Everything's set up in an organized system that allows me to focus 100% of my time and energy on the actual player. Because when I don't do that, if I'm too worried about people paying or people showing up on time, that takes me away from the quality of the session that I'm about to have. And that will affect the rest of the sessions that I have that day. And I know from experience, because I literally have talked to hundreds of trainers who've been in my shoes in the past, like, that's something that they struggle with. All right, coach, I'm gonna leave you with this opportunity. If you want my one-on-one -on -one help to figure out how to structure your soccer business and you wanna take it to the next level, all you need to do is go to soccerentrepreneur.com slash call. That's gonna take you to a page where there's a short application form. All you need to do is fill out that application form. We'll chat on the phone for 10 or 15 minutes and it's a free phone call. So there's nothing you need to worry about. Uh, there's no sales pitch. I just wanna see genuinely how I can help you out with your business. So go ahead, check out soccerentrepreneur.com slash call. You'll be taking that page and we can schedule our phone call probably within the next 20 to 30 minutes. All right, I'll see you soon.